Let me uh, say how deeply honored I am to have been asked to chair uh, this symposium of uh, the WOC Justice Summit 2.0 in celebration of the 70th birthday of my dear Ebon, Chief Wale Olanipweku, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Uh, if you look at Chief Olanipweku's photographs uh, when he was 40, when he was 50 and 60 and now 70, it is evident that nothing has changed. He looks exactly the same. Although I hear some troublemakers saying that it's his bank account you should look at for any changes. <laughs> but let me uh, speak for my on that. Uh, let us just say that his finances have grown from strength to strength and from glory to glory. I've advised that he needs to spend some of that hard currency now. I suggested that he might buy a jet. It will make his journeys all across the country and elsewhere more pleasurable. And not a big jet, Egmont, not a big one, just a small one, lest those naysayers accuse you of showing off. So we're just a little, just a little jet. But we thank God for giving him such sound physical and mental health and an ever youthful physique and disposition. Many years ago, I said to Chief Olani Kwekun that he is becoming Nigeria's most consequential constitutional lawyer since the legendary Rotimi Williams, senior advocate of Nigeria, of blessed memory, going by the number and range of constitutional matters in our superior courts in which he acted as counsel. I now know that I might have understated what his relevance would be, because clearly, given the number and variety of the major cases that he has been in, and many of which he has won, he is probably one of the most consequential and influential lawyers in the Commonwealth. <laughs> Chief Olani Kwekun's great intellect, his mastery of the law, its substance, its technicalities, his incredible ability to get to the heart of the matter and to let whole panels of judges see his sometimes daring points, his disarming wit and humor, and his sometimes lyrical and poetic submissions, quoting from the classics and the scriptures, make him easily one of the most outstanding minds in the legal profession in this or any other generation. But I'm sure that what must give him as much, if not more, satisfaction as his accomplishments in the legal profession is how he has affected the lives of hundreds and maybe thousands who cannot repay him for his kindness, his many charities and philanthropies, and several contributions to the growth and reach, especially of the gospel. I'm especially thankful to God uh, that the tributes that you are being paid today are not being said at a memorial service or as we say, a celebration of life, as we call it, when you are gone, but in your lifetime. There's simply nothing comparable to seeing your legacy in your lifetime. A father of four lawyers, Dagbo, Bukola, Bode, and Timitokwe, two senior advocates of Nigeria. Dagbo and Bode, and the elder senior advocate, Dagbo, even went as far as a doctorate in law. But I'm sure Chief Olani Pekun will agree that the very best partnership is probably not Wale Olani Pekun and Co. It is with his sweetheart of many years and the mother of his children, Erelu Ashiwaju Omolara Olani Pekun. Our dear auntie, who's without, whose uh, unfailing love and support, he undoubtedly would have been far less successful. I've had many conversations with Chief Olani Pekun through the years, and invariably we come back to the elephant in the room. Will the legal profession as we know it survive another 50 years, given the gridlock in processing cases through the courts and the question of integrity of the legal process, or better still, the integrity of the actors in the legal process? Regarding delays in Nigerian courts, 
the UK Court of Appeal, the United Kingdom Court of Appeal, had occasion to comment in the case of IPCO and NMPC in 2015, where a challenge to the enforcement of a Nigerian seated arbitration tribunal award came before the English Court of Appeal. The Court of Appeal referred to the delays in the parallel proceedings in a Nigerian court as catastrophic and that it will take a further 30 years to resolve. Incidentally, the expert witness who testified on the delays in the Nigerian courts was a former Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria who testified that it will take 20 to 30 years to resolve the case in the Nigerian court. On the integrity of the legal process and its key actors, judges and lawyers, most of us know, most of us who are here and who have practiced in our courts and who still practice in our courts, know at least anecdotally that many important cases today are under a shroud of doubt as to whether the outcomes would be influenced one way or the other. I look forward to the conversations we'll have today and may I suggest that we, that we focus on the implementable ideas, not a rehash of the problems, as we are all experts at the problem already. So let me again congratulate my Igbo on his 70th birthday and to remind him that his best years are still ahead of him. And as the scripture says, the path of the just are like the shining sun, a shine ever brighter unto the perfect day. And so it shall be with you in Jesus' mighty name. May I therefore welcome all of you to this event and wish you a very enjoyable afternoon. Thank you.